Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 25th of February, Holy Mother the Church celebrates Blessed Rani Maria. Blessed Rani Maria was born in the Vatilil family in the year 1954 on January 29th. She was the second child of Pili and Eliswa. Her baptism was on 5th February 1954 at St. Thomas Church, Pulavali. She was given the name Mariam. Her God-fearing parents brought her up in Christian faith along with the six children, Stephen, Annie, Varghese, Trisiamma, Celine and Lucy. Celine would later follow her elder sister and join the Franciscan Clarist congregation. From a very infancy, her grandparents and parents taught her the importance of prayer, holy mass and rosary. The frequent visit to the nearby FCC convent helped her to grow in her vocation towards religious life. On 1st May 1974, she made her first profession in Franciscan Clarice Congregation under the new name Rani Maria and on May 22nd, 1980, she made her final profession at St. Homer's Church, Ankamalai. As usual, on 25th February 1995, Rani Maria rose early in the morning. She had to take the first bus to Indore and from there go to the provincial house to Bhopal and then proceed down to Kerala. Accompanied by two sisters, Rani reached the bus stand only to be told that the bus trip was cancelled. And then they booked a ticket for Rani Maria for the next day bus. The name of the bus was Kapil. This bus came exactly opposite uh, to the convent gate and Sister Lisa Rose helped Sister Rani Maria get into the bus. As at 8.15 a.m., she boarded the bus. The bus arrived in front of the convent and she boarded the bus and later a young man dressed in white kept her bag near the driver and asked her to sit behind. This was little fishy because the sisters in Udainagar would always sit in the front seat. Among the 50 or so passengers, there were three seated in different parts of the bus with united ambition to murder, to murder Sister Rani Maria. Jeevan Singh was the leader of the gang, Dharmendra his bodyguard and a 28-year-old Samandar Singh were there. There, as soon as the bus started, they started, they started insulting her, saying, Why have you come here from Kerala? Do you want to convert poor tribal people to Christianity? We will not allow that. The bus reached a jungle about 20 kilometers from Udainagar. Samandar rose from his seat, asked the bus person, the driver, to stop the bus. He got down the bus and he broke a coconut uh, as a form of a sacred offering to the divinities with the pieces of broken coconut in his hand. He re-entered the bus, distributed them among the passengers. He offered a piece to Sister Rani Maria, but suddenly withdrew it as if to fool her. She asked him, why are you so overjoyed today? Drawing out a knife, he said, just for this, and thrust it onto her stomach. Repeatedly, he stabbed her. Then the bus stopped. Deaf to her cries, he dragged her out of the bus and stabbed her to death. The postmortem registered 40 major injuries besides 14 bruises. Until the last, she kept on saying, Jesus, Jesus. None of the passengers ever dared to come to her rescue. The beatification process opened on 26 September 2003 after the title of Servant of God was conferred upon her and the Congregation for the Cause of Saints granted her Nihil Obstat.
the subsequent digestion process took place in Indore from 29 June 2005 to 28 June 2007 and received CCS validation in Rome in, on 27th November 2009. Pope Francis approved the, the cause on 23rd March 2017 and she was baptized on 4th November 2017 in Indore. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Sister Rani Maria lived closer to our age. She died in the year 1995. She lived in our own country, India. She lived for Christ. Why was she killed? She was killed because those people thought that she is working for the tribal people and she will convert them. Because those people could not see her uplifting the life of the tribal people, fighting for their cause, especially against the oppressors. So dear brethren, if I stand for Christ, not many will like it. People may even persecute me. But that's good, because I am living for Christ. And if I have to die for Christ, that's good because I am dying for Christ. Amen.